Hi friends, it's Kim from Crock-Pot Empire. I'm so excited to share with you how to make my homemade lasagna recipe in the slow cooker using the Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker. You can use any Crock-Pot for this recipe. One of my favorites is actually the Crock-Pot casserole dish. It sets up this lasagna really nicely and makes it look really pretty when plated. For this recipe, you will need salt, pepper, sugar, Italian seasoning, garlic, ground beef, hot sausage, mozzarella cheese, one onion, parmesan cheese, pepperonis, one egg, lasagna noodles, cottage cheese, ricotta cheese, and two jars of your favorite marinara sauce. And don't forget, if you want the exact measurements, head on over to my blog, crockpotempire.com, for a printable recipe card. First, you want to spray your crockpot with your favorite cooking spray, butter or oil, press the brown saute button, and then press start so we can brown our onion and meats. While that's heating up, we're going to dice our onion and cut up the pepperonis. Now that our inner pot is hot and ready to go, let's add in our diced onion and saute until it's translucent. Now it's time to brown our meat. We're gonna add one pound of ground beef. Come on, get in there. There you go. And breakfast sausage. We're gonna use hot today. Don't worry about it being spicy, it's going to meld together and create a beautiful flavor combination. So we're just gonna mix this together a little bit, let it start browning, and then we're going to add in some additional seasoning so we can build a layer upon layer of spice and seasoning and get this meat tasting really good. We're gonna add some garlic, salt, pepper, sugar, and Italian seasoning. And then we're gonna add our pepperonis that we diced. I love adding this third meat to the lasagna. It reminds me of the frozen lasagna in the freezer section at the grocery store. This is just a more healthy and homemade version and has just a really good flavor with three different types of meats. So it's definitely for meat lovers. We're gonna mix this meat well together until it is fully cooked through. And then we're going to press stop on our Crock-Pot Express multi-cooker, lay out some paper towels, and dump the meat mixture out to drain off the extra fat. Yum, look at that meat. Then we're just gonna get some additional paper towels and blot it to soak up any additional grease that still may be on the top. Then grab your heavy duty paper towels by the sides and just dump your meat back into your inner pot. And then we're going to add one jar of your favorite marinara sauce. Stir that around. You may need to add a bit more sauce if your ground beef was not exactly one pound. I added an additional half a cup because I like mine saucy. We're going to transfer our meat mixture to a medium sized bowl because we will need the pot to build our lasagna. But we still have one more step before we can do that and that's my favorite part, the cheese mixture. For the cheese mixture, you're going to break open one egg and whisk it really well. Add in ricotta cheese, cottage cheese, and Parmesan cheese. And don't worry, this isn't the last cheese. We still have one more to go, and that's mozzarella. We're gonna use slices for that because not only do I like my lasagna saucy, I also like it cheesy. Was that too cheesy? <laughs> Whatever. Look at that cheesy mixture. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. It's going to be oozing out the sides of our lasagna. Okay, here's the fun part. It's time to build up our lasagna. We're going to start by adding a layer of sauce to coat the bottom. Then we're going to place the lasagna noodles right on top of that. Now your lasagna noodles aren't going to fit exactly, but that's okay. This isn't going to be the prettiest lasagna. So just break them up and fit them around. Next, add about a cup of the meat mixture and spread that around to make sure you are covering the noodles. And then we're gonna add our mozzarella cheese slices right on top. And then we're gonna add our cheese mixture with the cottage cheese, ricotta, and Parmesan on top of the mozzarella cheese. Spread that around. and repeat that same layering process two more times until all your ingredients are used.
For the last layer, add the remaining marinara. I wish I actually had more here, but I used some out of the second jar for my meatballs for another recipe. Uh, then top with some Parmesan, because you know the cheesier the better. Place the lid on, slide it to locking position, and make sure the valve is set to release. Please note, this is very important. This is different from the pressure cooker recipes that I've been doing. Since we are slow cooking, we want the steam to have somewhere to escape. Press slow cook, which will auto set to four hours, and then press start, where this will slow cook on high for four hours. Once the timer goes off, unlock your lid and voila, you have a tower of buttery noodles, delicious seasoned meats with four cheeses that will just melt in your mouth. Oh my gosh, can you just smell that lasagna? Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. Let's just dive right in. I'm gonna cut this lasagna, get a good slice, and give this a good taste test. This cheesy goodness, oh my gosh. Look at that. Like I said, it's not the prettiest lasagna, but it is delicious. Thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. If you have an opinion or a suggestion on what I should bake or cook next, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Crock-Pot Empire.